another big debut here in Detroit is this Audi Q7 behind me. What's new besides the grille and the more wagon-like appearance is that it's the first on the MLB platform from Audi Volkswagen. That means lighter weight materials like aluminum, high strength steel, and a lot of cool engine options. So the Audi Q7 will come with two 3-liter engines, a supercharged V6 TFSI and a 3-liter TDI diesel. The 3-liter gas engine has 333 horsepower with a 0-60 to 60 time of 6.1 seconds. The diesel engine comes with 227 horsepower and 442.5 pound-feet of torque with a 0-60 to 60 time of 6.3 seconds. Like I said, it has a new grille design wrapped in aluminum and a more stretched appearance to give it a station wagon kind of stance, which is really good for people who are interested in station wagons but tend to lean more towards SUVs instead. The use of aluminum and high-strength steel lowers the weight by about 700 pounds, according to the PR people. The U.S. should see anywhere from 500 to 700, depending on safety regulations and things they need to add to it, but generally you can expect a lot of weight savings. There's also talk of a diesel plug-in hybrid coming down the line, meaning that fuel economy is going to jump dramatically. So if you're interested in getting a luxury SUV with really good quattro all-wheel drive, the Q7 plug-in hybrid with a diesel engine is the one you want to wait for. So with all that weight savings and added power, this is an SUV that'll really bring some attention, especially to people that are looking for something a little bit bigger and with a little more utility, but they don't want to compromise on power or the luxury experience.